Alright, this is a tutorial on how to install Natural Vision Evolved mod as well as Monster Killer Rooks ENB. I have had people commenting on other people's videos asking how to put the EMB files in the GTA 5 directory and to get it working. So I am going to show people. First up you will need OpenIV. You can get it from gta5mods.com. Then you will need scripthook v plus native trainer and community scripthook v.net. So these two files. That's also in gta5mods.com. Then you will need Monster Killer Rocks ENB. Just go into his YouTube channel until you find this video. Go into the media file link and press download. Look up Natural Vision Evolved and go into the Patreon link with Raised and you need to pay for either a gold or platinum membership to get access to his mod. I have already paid for it. I personally didn't enjoy the payment so I left but I got to keep the mod. Once that is all done go into your downloads then go into your script hook v and .net and extract them once they are extracted go into either script hook v or .net select these two press copy go into your gta5 directory I have already got these, I'm going to delete them just to show you how it works. So, um, right, I'm just going to delete those as I've already had them. But once you're in your directory, you just want to click paste. Once you've pasted them, they should be in here. Then go to your scripthookv.net or scripthookv, whichever you choose first. Select scripthookv.net.asi, scripthookv.net. 2.dll and scripthookv.net3.dll copy and go back to your directory and paste now go into your natural vision evolved folder first you need to extract it then you go into the folder if you aren't planning on using the ENB by monster killer Rook, you can choose one of the three presets once you do that just select all of them copy them into your directory if you are planning on using the monster killer rook ENB I will show you how to install that later select these three and drag and drop just copy them once that is done you need to open open IV if you haven't set it up already set it up then go into Windows and it will ask for your GTA 5 directory you want to find your GTA 5 directory then press continue once you've done that go into your ASI manager which is a box with a blue tick click that now I've already installed ASI loader, I'm going to uninstall that. So just install it, install, tick both boxes and press yes, install. 
Once they're all installed, then you go into the multicolored box next to the ASI manager and you go and find your Natural Vision Evolved folder. Once that's done, press Natural Vision Evolved, press Install and into your mods folder. Do not install into the game folder as that can end up corrupting your game. Do it in the mods folder. Press install and wait for it to finish. Just want to show people where you can locate natural vision, what it's called. The download will be called Natural Vision Evolved. So you just want to extract files. And once that's done, this is your directory. That's where all the files are. Right, so that's finished. Now press close. And you can choose whether or not to use the optional add-ons. I personally do. You don't have to follow along with this, but I normally use the recommended motion blur. I use decrease vanilla street light intensity new street lights Brighter emergency lights. So close. Alternate star build. I don't use hide weapon reticle and damage overlay. I do use more trash though for the trash modifier. Mm. And that is all I use. Simply close that and locate your Monster Killer Rook ENV. Once that's done, that's what it will be called. Just extract it. I've already extracted it. Once you have done that, open the folder, open the folder, select all of these and press copy. Then go back to your GTA 5 directory and paste. And that is how to install Natural Vision Evolved and Monster Killer Rocks ENB. I will now do a quick showcase of the game.
and here is the mod. These are my graphics settings. I'm turning that on. Now, one thing I just want to say is raised tells us if we want to use the motion blur optional add-on we need to have post FX on ultra either very high or ultra for it to work properly And as you can see, I now have Natural Vision Evolve mod installed with Monster Killer Rock ENV. You can choose to put a trainer on, I personally didn't, but if you were to, I will show you how to put a trainer in the game as well. There are a selection of trainers to choose from. All you will need to do is go into gta5mods.com and just write trainer. The most common one I use is simple trainer, but I do prefer menu as I do not have a number pad. So what you want to do is have, you want to press download, and then go to your downloads and I have it in the hearts native trainer installed sorry so that is not the right one it is this one I believe yeah it's this one so then once that's downloaded, go into here and extract it. I have already done it. Once that's done, open this and you'll see there's three files there. 
you just want to copy those two files and open your GTA 5 directory and paste it close and then what you want to do is reopen Grand Theft Auto 5 The annoying thing about this game, I've had GTA 5 on Steam, Epic Games and the Rockstar Launcher, and each time I start the game, the extended shadows distance goes down, and I always have to put it back up. If anyone knows a fix for that, can they please drop a comment? Once you've done that, you now have your trainer. One thing I did was I went into the INI file and changed the way okay that's not the right one Never mind, that is not the right one. It's not the INI, it's the XML file, sorry. So I changed the main menu to F3. I also changed air brake to F5 whoops let's try that again so I change it to F3 and F5 once you've done that just press save I don't believe it will work while the game is open, but I can try. I may have to reopen it. Yeah, I have to reopen the game.
I also just want to go ahead and say that when you install mods on GTA 5, you cannot play online. If you try to play online, you can risk getting banned. I haven't been banned. I just get a pop-up saying I am trying to enter within altered version of the game. But as I said, you cannot enter GTA 5 online. I believe that is what 5M is used for to create your own server. I've actually never installed 5M, so I don't exactly know how to use 5M. And as I said, that always goes down. Okay, so once this is opened, just press F3 or whatever key you assign it to because F4 is assigned with the script hook community, I believe. There is many things you can do with the trainer. I normally choose midnight as a time. You can also freeze the time, you can change the weather by going into world and weather, I like stormy, that's just me, and I also choose to give all weapons, add all weapon attachments automatically, and you can heal player, you can make him invincible so you can never die. Uh, let's choose a vehicle. Oh, someone hit me. Actually, I'll just get into that vehicle. One thing that I do like about this trainer is the indicator option. So you can press left or right for the indicators and backspace for hazard lights. There's also a speed boost option. This is what the game looks like at night. I am not a very good driver in this. Um, another thing that this mod Natural Vision Evolved adds... How did I just do that? I think I just did that. There we go. Is you can access the nightclub. You can also teleport. So just go locations and teleport to marker. And 
as you can see Bahama West Mamas. Yep, yeah, you can enter it. Once you've done that, you can just stand on the dance floor. Once you've done that for a while, your character will start dancing. I hoped this helped a lot of people. I hope this helped a lot of people, sorry. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments on other people's YouTube videos asking how to install the ENB, how to install Natural Vision Evolved, so I decided to make this tutorial for that reason. Uh, if there's anything that you didn't like, uh, just leave it in the comments and I will try and improve on it in the future. Um, yeah, that's all I've really got to say. I hope you enjoyed the video, hope it helped. Drop a like if you liked it, drop a dislike if you disliked it, subscribe.